This is Annual Quality Stocks. Today's Tuesday, April 5th, 2011. Today we're going to take a look at Paid Inc. It's a NASDAQ bulletin board company trading our ticker PAYD. This chart caught my eye. I haven't put a trend line to it yet, but it looks like it's in a long pennant, long symmetrical triangle pattern, holding a pretty good support level there at a quarter. Closed slightly up yesterday. We'll take a look at these lower indicators. We're going to confirm the idea of this triangle pattern, I do believe. Long term uptrend going on with the MACD making higher lows. While it's making higher lows, it's also making lower highs. MACD histogram trending back towards zero. We can see when we've got the bullish cross in the past through the signal line, stocks made a nice move. I'm going to keep an eye on that right now. This could be the very early points of this starting to make another move upward. Same look to the PPO. You can see coming off the pinch. Once again, pinch or play plays out nicely. Made a big move. Nice reversal positions, though, with the negative DI on top of the positive DI. You can see when it reaches those positions, that's when the share price started to make another move. MFI is down in bear chart territory, trending below 50, but you can see there's a basic trend line through there showing the downtrend. Right now, all three in close proximity, right near 50, looking like they're going to try and start to break back up to the north side. Pretty nice look. Accumulation distribution still trending uphill, trying to make some higher highs at this point. Shaking money flow showing that over this whole time period, buying and selling pressure has been somewhat equalizing. Of course, that goes right along with the wedge. The buying pressure has still primarily been dominant. Very little time down here in the red. Nice uptrend starting with the CCI holding over negative 100. Full still approaching to try and make a trend line break of the downtrend. So we pay attention for that line to break. See if this can pop its way back through 50 and move up into bull chart territory. Very similar look to the tricks as the other long-term indicators. Higher lows, lower highs, but looking like it's going to start to turn again. You want to see that break back through zero. And, of course, the bullish crosses lead to good things. RSIs all right together, all near 50. Once again, that break through 50 is what you want to see. Put it into bull chart territory, trade on the upper half of the indicator. Pretty nice look to it. So I'd assume these trend lines are going to run right along with the other things, basically. There you see the uptrend. There you see the higher low. You can see the wedge forming. First and foremost, I want to see if this is going to roll back upward. In similar fashion, that's done through here and done through here. Of course, I'll look for that trend line on any sort of upward movement. See a pretty good support level that's been established there at a quarter. It was a resistance point. It's actually a support level through this area. Resistance moved through it, came back down, sat right on top of it. And again, that's leading to the idea that this might try and curl and move back upward again. 50 and 200 day moving averages pulling together. Short term moving averages just now starting to tuck underneath the price per share. Volume picked up just slightly yesterday. You can see 388,000 shares traded. This chart's definitely hitting the watch list today to see if this is going to make a move. If it doesn't want to move upward, I want to see it hold a quarter. It does pick up some more support at 24, again at 23, and all the way down at 22, which could pull in the idea of a possible double bottom through here. But if it can't hold this trend line, I'll be a little bit more skeptical about this chart. I want to see it try and make the move right through here, right in the near future. Push its way back up over top of these moving averages and go up here and test this upper trend line. There is some resistance kind of scattered right through here. There's going to be some at 31 based on historically through here. It's going to be some more at 32. I'd actually look at that 32 resistance at this point because of the static resistance through here and because of this kind of area from 31 to 32 that it was support level. And additionally, it was resistance right through here. So I'd look for 32 to be a little bit stronger. If it did move quickly, of course, that runs right into the trend line. But even if it moves more slowly and rolls its way upward, it hits the trend line first. That static price per share resistance is not going to be too far off of it. So that trend line and that price per share resistance are going to kind of work in conjunction as far as the resistance level through there. If it breaks through there, then I would be looking for this to try and establish some sort of upward channel. I'd probably try and make it symmetrical with this trend line, something along those lines. But the chart really caught my eye because of the wedge pattern, and I want to keep an eye on it because I'm seeing things are all tying together. Long-term indicators are showing the same sort of pattern, and I like the fact that a bullish cross could be coming right here with the MACD. So for these reasons, the paid ink chart is going to hit the watch list this week, and we're going to see where this is going to go. As always, merely my interpretation of the PAYD chart. This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thank you for watching, and trade smart.